Hi everyone, how are you all? Welcome to Nirja Education. Today we are going to discuss the chapter Exponents and Powers. This is the second chapter from Standard 8 Maths. Before going to the chapters, we will discuss what is an exponent. What is an exponent notation? If I am writing 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 3, this is the exponent notation. This is known as the exponent notation. What is the meaning of this 2 raised to 3? The meaning of this one is that you are multiplying 2 3 times. That means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. This is the meaning of 2 raised to 3. You are multiplying 2 3 times. 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. Then what is the value? 2 twos are 4. 4 twos are 8. This is the value of 2 raised to 3. This notation is known as exponential notation and the meaning is that you are multiplying 2 3 times that is 2 into 2 into 2 that is equal to 8. Here this 2 is known as the base. 2 is known as the base and 3 is the exponent or index. The other name of exponent is that index. Here 2 is the base. That means the number which we are multiplying that is the base. And 3 is known as the exponent or index. That means how many times we are multiplying. That is the exponent or index. Now we will see some of the problems. That means how can you convert a number from this form to exponential form. Suppose they are giving this question then you have to convert it into exponential form. I have written two questions here. One is in exponential form and the other one is the simple form. So first we will see how can we convert this into simple form that you know already we have discussed. 3 raised to 3 that means you have to multiply 3 by 3 times that means 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. This here is 64. This you have to convert it into exponential form. For that you have to do the prime factorization of this number. So I am going to do the prime factorization here. So this number can be divided by 2. 3 2s are 6. 2 2s are 4. Again by 2. 1 2s are 2. 16 2s are 32. Again by 2. 8 twos are 16 by 2, 4 twos are and again by 2, 2 twos are 4. This is the prime factorization of this number. Now I am going to write this here. How many twos are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will count once again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is equal to 2 raised to 6. You are multiplying 2 6 times. You are multiplying 2 6 times. That is equal to 2 raised to 6. This can be written in one form, another form also. How? I am going to group this 2. That is equal to 4. Again, this 2. 2 to the 4. Again, this 2. That is equal to 4. How many times? 3 times. That is equal to 4 raised to 3. That means 64 can be written two ways in exponential notation. That is 2 raised to 6 and that is also equal to 4 raised to 3. Like this way you have to convert it into exponential form. You can see that here 64. That can be written two ways in two ways like the exponential way that is 2 raised to 6 and 4 raised to 3. Now we will apply this exponential form for rational number. Already in first chapter we have learned about the rational numbers. Now we will apply the laws and exponential 
and everything for this rational numbers. I have written the general formula for the rational numbers here. That means A by B whole raised to P. A by B whole raised to P. So this can be written as A raised to P, B raised to P, A raised to P by B raised to P. This is the general formula for the rational numbers. This is the general formula for rational numbers that means a by b a by b whole raised to p is equal to a raised to p divided by b raised to p i have written one example also this is the one rational number 3 by 4 3 by 4 whole raised to 3 we are telling it as whole raised to 3 because this 3 is applicable for 3 also and for 4 also this can be written as 3 raised to 3 by 4 raised to 3. 3 raised to 3 means you have to multiply 3 by 3 times. 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. Here also 4, 3 times you have to multiply. 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. Here 4 4 is a 16, 16 4 is a 64. That is, that means 3 by 4 whole raised to 3 is equal to 27 by 64. Like this way you have to do the rational number. So, we see that how, how you have to convert a, an exponential form into a simpler form for rational numbers. Here I have written in a simpler form the rational numbers. This you have to convert it into an exponential form. First, we will find the prime factorization of 625. I am going to do it here. 625. By 5, I am going to do the, I am going to start this one because 5 to 7, 7 plus 6, 13. 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 6, 13. So, this number can't be divisible by 3 and 2. So, I will go to 5. Here, 5. 1 5s are 5, 12 5, 2 5s are 10, 25, 5. So, 125 you are getting, 5 5s are 25, 2, 2 5s are 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 1, 1 5s are 5, 5 plus 1, 6. Again by 2, 2 5s are 10, then 2 remaining, 25 means 5, again by 5, 5 5s are 25. That means, how many times I have multiplied? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times. I am going to write it here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, we have to do the prime factorization of this one. That means, 6561. I am going to do it here. This can't be divisible by? 2, you know that the number in 1's place is not an even number. Now, we will add the digit. 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 6, 17. 17 plus 1, 18. That means you are getting a number that is the multiple of 3. So, you can divide this number by 3. 2, 3's are 6, 1, 1, 3's are 3, 2, 26, 8, 3's are 24, 21 remaining. So, 7, 3's are 21. Again by 3. 7 3's are 21. 2 3's are 6. 27. 9 3's are 27. Again by 3. 2 3's are 6. In 12. 4 3's are 12. Again 3 3's are 9. Again you can divide it by 3. 8 3's are 20, 24. And 1 3's are 3. Again by 3. 2 3's are 6 and 20, 7 3's are 21. Again by 3, 9 3's are 27. Again by 3, 3 3's are 9. Again by 3, 1. So how many 3's you got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 3's are the. I am going to write it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8. So, 8 3 is a the. But the problem is that in rational number, the index that means the exponents of the numerator and the denominator should be same. Here, the numerator or the numerator is 5. It is multiplying 4 times. That means the numerator will be 5 raised to 4. And here, 3 is multiplying how many times? 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, that is equal to 3 raised to 8. You can't write the rational numbers this way. The index or the exponents of the rational number should be same for numerator and denominator. So, in previous case, we have done the grouping like this way. Here also, I am going to do the grouping here. 3 and 3. Now you will see how, what we will get. 3 3 is a 9. Again 3 3 is a 9. 3 3 is a 9. So how many 9's are the 4? That is equal to 5 raised to 4 by 9 raised to 4. Now the exponents of both numerator and denominator is same and you can write it as 5 by 9 whole raised to 4. Like this way you have to convert a simple rational number into in the exponential form. You have to be careful that the exponent of both numerator and denominator should be same for a rational number. Otherwise we can't consider this as a rational number. I have written one question here that is x by 8 whole raised to 3 is equal to 216 by 520. 12. You have to find the value of x. You know that this number when you are multiplying 3 times you are getting 260. So, what you have to do is you have to do the prime factorization of this number. We will do that one 216. You know that you can divide it by 2 because the number in 1's place is even number 2. 108 you are getting again by 2, 5 to the 10 and 4 to the 8. Again by 2, 2 to the 4 and 7 to the 14. Now, this number can't be divided by this 2. Now, we are going to the next number that is 3. So, here 9, 3 is 27, again 3, again 3. So, you will get this way. Here we are not getting the same number. You can see that here in previous case we got the same numbers only 2 or 3 like that. But here we are getting the mixture of number that is 2 and 3. I will write it here 216 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 multiplied by 3 into 3 into 3. You know that the exponent should be 3 here but here we are having numbers more than 3 and that is also not the same number. Then how will you do the pairing or grouping? In the previous case we have done the grouping then we will see here how can we do the grouping. So, we will pair this 2 and 3. So, 2 and 3. Again 2 and 3. 3. Again one more 2 and 3. This way you can do the grouping. 2 3s are 6, 2 3s are 6, 2 3s are 6. That is equal to 6 raised to 3. This 6 is multiplying 3 times. So, we got the exponent should be 3 and here also exponent is 3 and 6 raised to 3 the value is 216. Therefore, the value of x is 6. The value of x is 6. I hope all of you have understood how you have to convert a simpler form into an exponential form and vice versa. In my next video, I am going to discuss the rules for the exponents. Thank you all and have a nice day.